Comparing the Micropulse ISIS models A9 and B5. The subtitle is B5, made for anyone, but it's not really the right choice for everyone. The intent of this video is to help you choose which system is best for you. Although it is portable, the B5 is considerably more massive than the model A9. The A9 weighs in at just 58 grams with a battery. That's only about an eighth of a pound. But the B5 weighs 352 grams if you strap an external battery to it. It doesn't come with an internal battery. So you'd have to add that external battery to be able to be portable. That means the B5 effectively weighs about six times more than the Model A9. The Model B5 is also substantially larger than the Model A9. Above you can see them compared side by side. It looks a little bit larger, but it's actually about twice the square area. If you look at it on side, when you add a battery, the B5 is substantially thicker than a Model A9 with its battery snapped in. We also have to look at the practical consideration of adding coils to the system. All ISIS systems need to have coils added in order to work, so you have to take this into account too. Looking at the A9, generally you use a single set of coils, so it remains a pretty compact system. The B5, on the other hand, can have up to four sets of coils, and these could be the 2x2 two two arrays. So you could end up with a pretty massive Medusa head of coils and wires hooked onto your B5, which is already pretty large. Now let's look at the complexity. The A9 has one fixed ISIS protocol. It's programmed in and you can't change it. All you can change are the intensity settings, and there's four of them. That gives you four combinations. By comparison, the B5 has eight adjustable protocols, each with many adjustable modes and settings. The intensity levels can be adjusted to 16 different levels. If you do the math, you'll get trillions of combinations. Actually, depending on how you do the math, you can end up with millions of trillions of possible combinations. I just don't want to scare anybody. But the bottom line is, the A9 is easy to use, but the B5, by necessity, has a learning curve. It just has many functions and many adjustments. It might be helpful for you to know what the intended use is of each of the two types of device. The A9 is intended pretty much for anyone. They can use it anywhere as long as you keep it dry, and it's wearable. The B5 is a different device altogether. It's really intended for researchers and serious self-hackers. You can use it in a laboratory or while driving a car or while seated for long periods of time or in bed. You can carry it, but I wouldn't say it's wearable. You have to keep in mind the B5 is a complex scientific system. It does take time and determination to master how to use it. We can also consider the special uses of the A9 versus the B5. The A9 is really intended for people who have a limited budget, who would prefer to use a system that is single switch simple. And it's discreet. You can slip it into a pocket or hide it under bandages or clothing, and nobody even needs to know it's there. By comparison, the B5 is really intended for advanced ISIS users who want to do things like build larger mats or for people who want to fine-tune their individual protocols. It's also pretty applicable for people who want to try to stimulate different areas simultaneously because it has four different coil outputs. I also want you to know why I built these two different systems. I built the A9 for everyone who needs PEMF. I think everyone should have access to a PEMF system that's affordable and effective and based on science. But more recently, I built the B5, frankly, because I need a more powerful research tool, something that's going to allow me to go forward for the next several years and really improve this technology. But I'm willing to share this technology with responsible adults. So, to put it a different way, I'm willing to loan you the keys to the car, but you've got to promise me you're not going to wrap it around a telephone pole somewhere. Keep in mind, the B5 is a very flexible, precise instrument, and it should be treated as such. 
Another thing to consider is the risk to the purchaser. That would probably be you if you're considering buying one of these. The A9 is mass produced. We'll let you return it with some kind of a fee depending upon how long it is since you bought it, but there's really no firmware updates. You get what you get and you use it as is. On the other hand, a B5 is handmade to order. Nothing in it is mass produced. I make each and every one to order. So each one's a little bit different. It's more like a sculpture than like something that's stamped out at a factory. Because I make each one to order, they are not returnable. So please think long and hard before you buy one of these. On the other hand, once you've bought one, you're in it with me on the science. The firmware updates are free. And all the other things that go with it, positive and negative, you've invested in a scientific instrument. In summary, when deciding whether to buy an A9 or a B5, you can look at it this way. The A9 is simple, it's low cost, and it's wearable. The B5 is much more advanced, it costs three to five times more, and it's portable, but I would not really characterize it as wearable. It's a scientific instrument, it's not a simple device.